Good morning, beloved of God. Our devotional text for this Wednesday of the third week of Easter, April 28th, comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 24, verses 1 to 3, then 11 to 9. It is written, Then God said to Moses, Come up to the Lord, you and Aaron and Nadab and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship at a distance. Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but the others shall not come near, and the people shall not come up with him. Moses came. Then he told the people all the words of the Lord and all the ordinances. And all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words that the Lord has spoken, we will do. Then Moses and Aaron and Nadab and Abihu, Abihu and seventy of the elders of Israel went up. And they saw the God of Israel. Under his feet there was something like a pavement of sapphire stone, like the very heaven for clearness. God did not lay his hand on the chief men of the people of Israel. Also they beheld God, and they ate and drank. Word of God, word of life. What stay with me in this text today are the invitational words come up to the Lord. It wasn't any invitation. It was an invitation to be in covenant with the God who had done amazing things for the Israelites. God had freed them from slavery and sustained them in the wilderness. Now the offering of a wholesome and everlasting relationship with the same God is presented to the people who in return promise to listen and to trust in God alone. Today Christians receive the same invitation to a whole new covenant with no sacrificial lamb but God himself in Jesus Christ at the cross for the forgiveness of all sins. The same, the covenant may be new, but the invitation is the same. The Son, like the Father, has done amazing things for us. Jesus had freed us from slavery of sin and sustained us with his word. Now he invites us over and over again to be in wholesome relationship with him. Let us pray. God of new ways, we give thanks for your ever-extended invitation to be in relationship with you. Continue in us your works of salvation. Never cease to reveal yourself to us in all your beauty. We lift this prayer in the name of your Son, our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Stay in peace, everyone. Christ is with you. Have a great day.